Hello, I'm Jasmine with the Dallas Public Library. Today I'm going to be talking about Five to the Bar Sculpture by Melvin Edwards that is available to view at the Nasher Sculpture Center here in Dallas. Melvin, a Texas native, sculpted Five to the Bar in 1973. He was heavily influenced by jazz, especially musician Thelonious Monk. A poem, Jazz Fan Looks Back by Jane Cortez, Edwards' wife, really shows the profound influence jazz has on its fans. I will read it now. Jazz Fan Looks Back by Jane Cortez. I crisscrossed with monk, welled with bud, counted every star with stit, sang Don't Blame Me with Sarah, wore a flower like Billy, screamed in the range of Dinah, and scattered how high the moon with Ella Fitzgerald as she blew roof off the Shrine Auditorium, jazz at the Philharmonic. I cut my hair into a permanent tam, made my feet rebellious metronomes, embedded record needles in paint on paper, talked bopology talk, laughed in high-pitched saxophone phrases, became keeper of every bird riff, every Lester lick, as Hawk melodicized my ear of infatuated tongues and Blakely drummed militant message in soul of my applauding teeth. And Ray hit bass notes to the last love seat in my bones. I moved in triple time with Max, grooved high with Diz, purdy doed with Pettiford, flew home with Hemp, shuffled in Dexter's deck, squatty rude with Peterson, dreamed a 52nd Street theme with bats, and scattered Lady Be Good with Ella Fitzgerald as she blew roof off the Shrine Auditorium jazz at the Philharmonic. Thank you for joining me for this video. Jazz has a great influence on how art is created. Why don't you listen to a jazz song and see what art you can create yourself? Thank you.